All right. And, and we are live. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of System Shock Radio. I, as always, am your host, Nigel. And uh, today, we're going to get right into it. So, uh, we're going to start off with the answer to last week slash yesterday's riddle. Of course, there's, as you may or may not know, oh, uh, I decided to do uh, double episodes because I missed last week, but uh, 26 and 27, and we're going to take place back to back, and this is episode 27, episode 26 was yesterday, and if you didn't check that out already, go do that. And the rail from yesterday, I know we got cut off a little bit early, so I made a post uh, telling you guys what the riddle was. So, uh, the answer to yesterday's was, what belongs to you, but is used by other people besides you? And let's read it one more time. What belongs to you, but is used by other people besides you? And the answer to that one is very simple. It's your name. So, oh, uh, of course, people call you by your name so uh pretty simple one honey if you got that one congratulations to you but uh we're gonna get started i only have really two topics and uh, it's not gonna be long I'm gonna talk for a few minutes and then i'm uh, gonna let you guys go for the day so uh wrestle my first wrestlemania so th- this is a pretty interesting one so this took but this t- uh took place back in 2008 for those of you who know me know that i'm a huge huge fan of wrestling and uh, my first WrestleMania was WrestleMania 24. Now, unfortunately, I didn't go there live. It was all the way in Orlando, Florida, a place that WWE has gone back to for WrestleMania several times before. Or, in fact, I think they were supposed to go. No, this year was Tampa. And then, of course, with COVID, that got canceled. But uh, we went over, me, my dad, and my little sister, which... Don't ask me how my dad tricked my little sister, who's not a wrestling fan, to go. I have no clue. Probably because it was my grandmother's house. Me and my sister or used to love going over to our grandmother's house uh, when we were younger. And uh, this time was no different. So uh, we went over. Uh, she ordered on pay-per-view. I believe we bought uh, Peas and Wings over there. Yeah, but we sat down and watched WrestleMania. And they say you never forget your first. And... And I certainly didn't, because this is one of my favorite WrestleManias. Uh, even on the WWE Network, Eric, I've gone back and watched this WrestleMania in particular, because it's such a fun one to watch with a really good match card. 2008, in general, was a good year for WWE, in my opinion. Uh, the Royal Rumble was pretty good. John Cena came back. Uh, uh, CM Punk and Jeff Hardy were starting to get pushed. There's, uh, Shawn Michaels, of course showed up and showed out for Mania. Uh, Michaels had that awesome feud with Jericho. Oh, 2008 was a pretty good year. And so, uh, this WrestleMania was no different. This was a pretty fun WrestleMania to go watch. Uh, of course, Shawn Michaels took on Ric Flair in Ric Flair's retirement match, the infamous I'm sorry, I love you moment. Um, Edge took on Undertaker. Undertaker, of course, uh, kept on to the streak. He got this point, he was 16-0, and I believe. Yeah, uh, he was 16-0, and uh, the Money in the Bank ladder match was pretty cool. CM Punk won that one, and then wound up winning uh, the one at Mania 25, which we also saw at my grandmother's house. My grandmother was also a uh, big wrestling fan, and her favorite wrestler was The Undertaker. And I have an interesting story about that. Maybe I'll tell it some other time, but uh, that one was my first and probably one of my most memorable. And 2008 was when I really really started to get into wrestling and uh, about 12 years later i'm still a pretty big fan but uh unforgettable moment definitely one of my favorite wrestlemania is was it the best wrestlemania i watched in hindsight watching other wrestlemanias no but like i said you never forget your first and uh we're gonna move on to the next and last topic like i said only really two topics and this one about procrastination now if you're like me you procrastinated it sometimes all the time right now (laughs) oh uh we procrastinate at some point and it's a very very bad habit something that i shouldn't be doing something that you shouldn't be doing because Ultimately, procrastination leads to more harm than good. But oftentimes, when people procrastinate, it 
it's because they don't they want to do it just not right now oh and that's not always a good thing and always do it if you can do it right then and there so sometimes you legitimately can't do something because you may not have the right tools tools but uh sometimes you just put it off and then uh you still haven't done it 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 days later and it's still there and you still have to do it. it putting it off doesn't mean it goes away you still have to do it but the thing about procrastination is if you put it off you still have to do it on top of everything else you have to do so for example let's say monday you're supposed to finish up your laundry so you don't finish up your laundry you say i'll, I'll do it tomorrow but then tomorrow oh you gotta go to the store so well come tuesday you got to do your laundry and go to the store instead of just one. But let's say Tuesday, you're like, ah, I don't feel like going out. Oh, oh, and Wednesday, let's say, hey, Wednesday, you decide to go for a walk around the park. So now you got to do your laundry, go to the store, and walk around the park. All right, so oh, you see how it starts to pile up after a while? Oh, and if you don't do that, Thursday, you got something else to do. And now you got four things that you have to do. Ooh, procrastination it piles up and that's why it's such a bad habit because it ends up piling up to the point where it's ridiculous but uh, uh try not to procrastinate hate uh don't tr trust me on as i have experience with procrastinating there's things i procrastinate on there's things i'm procrastinating on right now i'll admit it and uh it's not good i still have to do it but now i gotta do that on top of the other stuff that I have to do. So, uh, procrastinate, eat, don't, don't do it, uh, is the takeaway from here. But uh, thank you all so much for tuning in. Like I said, pretty short, pretty sweet episode. I'm going to leave you guys with next week's riddle. So, here we go. Uh, next week's riddle is what goes up but never comes back down. And let's read one more time. What goes up but never comes back down. Ladies and gentlemen, that's your riffle next week. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And see you all have a great week. Peace.